Let's start off, uh... Let's we'll start with his, uh, his combo attacks. Right, his combo attacks have a lot of range with his sickle. His back three has a ton of range. His four three is an overhead that reaches almost all the way across the screen. So hmm. would you say this is the, the, the longest reaching four three? This is the longest reaching four three in the history of Injustice. Okay, very good. Now, the trade-off is they're not very fast and they have a lot of recovery. Right. So if you're a care if you're a player that likes kind of a slower pace, but you want to keep the opponent away, he'll be a great character. He also has a uh, forward medium attack, light attack, hard attack, which is a very good long range move. It's a mid attack. And it advances you too. And it right? advan right, it advances him, he goes forward. He has a low attack with good reach for a low attack that ends in an overhead. What a mix up. Hey, can you show the trap real quick? I don't think we really should have seen that much. Well he's a power character. Oh, okay. oh Never mind. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Oh, cool. You know, he could have just given me control, but he instead he's like, no. Oh, trap. Oh, oh. oh my foot. Uh, that's my second favorite interactable in the game. I think it's actually, yeah, my second favorite too. Okay, cool. The crocodile's pretty awesome. Yeah. So, he also has like a good knockdown string. And he has strings that have overheads and lows in the middle. He's not really a character that opens you up with overheads and lows. They're more part of his combo attacks. Right. So if you if you land like the first hit, you're gonna right. get it. Then the opponent has to go lower overhead. It's not the initial hit. Right. right. So you gotta really learn his his combo string to fight against it. And then he has a uh, forward one as this long range headbutt, which I love. Woo! Look at that. <laughs> nice. Little and you can see his sweep has a ton of range. It's probably the longest range sweep attack. Jeez. His uppercut has a ton of range, so it's a great anti-air. His jump attacks have great range. He's he's kind of one of the masters of ranged combat. In he's this he's controlling space. Yes. He's, he's in a weird way a, a melee zoner. Right. That's a good way to describe him. Yeah. So we can go into... Oh, he also has a really cool throw. I love how he just drags you down. All right, so um, his special attacks, we'll start off with Death Sickle, or Death Spin, which is a multi-hitting attack, and he can actually advance with it. So he can go forward, or he can retreat if you want to intimidate the opponent. And this can be meter burned into a combo start. Wow. And then you get a back three. Or do you? Do you? you do. Do you? Man, this is scary. <laughs> You're really landing it right there now. There you go. There we go. All right. So this is like his main combo starter. If you hit his low, you can go into it. Pretty much any time you're gonna, you know, you can use it as punish, you can go into it. It's like the main way you're gonna extend your combos. Gotcha. Then he has his gas puke. And this move you can actually hold down to extend it. So you can do a short one, and be safer on block, or you can do the full one. He also has a gas burst, which is a quick, Somewhat safe burst that you can use to end strings. Like if you think the opponent might block, or if you want to just knock them away to go back to your range of attacks. And he can also do this in the air. Ooh. It also has another, it'll do a slight dot damage, and it has another use that involves his character power, we'll talk about later. Okay. He has this hook attack, which is a great combo winner. It'll knock him down. Leaves him right next to you. Leaves him right next to you. It right does a good range. chunk of damage. And the meter burn does even more damage and looks absolutely awesome. Oh, oh, a really nice dose of fear gas. So cool. Yeah. So that's definitely one of his best combo enders. He has a teleport. Since I said earlier his moves are on the slower side and have a lot of recovery, if the opponent has long range or projectile attacks that are very fast, he'll get beat out. So if you're struggling to get in, you can actually use this teleport to go right, right behind. It just, him. just drops into fear right. rocks. And yeah, that's awesome. He can also use it for tricks. You know, you can knock them down, then they're blocking the other way, and, and you go in. You're fighting a nightmare at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's definitely pretty scary to have this giant creature <laughs> show up right behind when you're trying to use your batterings. Um, he also has a command grab, which is what I said earlier, where he doesn't really fit into an archetype because he's not a grappler. He's a long range character, but then he has a grappler. Which is, in my opinion, one of the cooler moves in the game. Because there's his... Have you seen the both versions yes. of them? Yes. How is this possible? Through uh, J Jonathan Crane's fear gas, anything is possible. Your worst nightmares come to life. <laughs> oh my. And he has uh, some really good tick throws. It's down one, it's standing it's, three. Explain a tick throw real quick. Well, a tick throw is when you do a normal attack, and then you special cancel into the grab, and if the opponent keeps blocking, 
they'll get thrown. Right. So the opponent has to make a read and jump out or do a meter burn back three or attack them or backdash away. It basically means you do a normal attack and you combo into it and you can't just keep blocking. So then once the opponent starts to try to jump out, so I said this is a good tick throw. Then you can start doing the actual string mm. and if they jump out, they're gonna get hit. Awesome. That's a great, that's one of my favorites. That's definitely that's one of the cooler really strings. Really cool. So let's talk, uh, any other special moves we wanna talk about? Um, or should we break down that gimmick? The character, character power. power, come on. Oh, he also has this energy wave. Oh. And this will actually absorb projectiles. So again, if he's struggling because his moves are on the slower side and he's getting zoned out by batarangs, he can use this. And the meter burn one will do a double one and it'll knock them far away. I wish I could throw batarangs, but I'm not And you can actually combo off this. <laughs> Once yeah, Derek would like to throw a batter again. Can I throw a batter hands, please? No. See how fast he did that? Yeah, I'm not very fast, but... There you go. There you right go. Beats projectiles. Whew. Super Steve cool. Steve is a professional. That's what I like about yeah. Steve. So, he has great tools to keep you away, where he wants to be. He has pretty good tools when he gets up close. And he has good tools if you're trying to keep him away. So, at full screen, he's at his absolute best. He's a total nightmare. You got one. Gotcha. Character so, power. Character power. His character power is his fear meter. You can see it at the bottom. So how it works is you activate it, and he gets even scarier. And now he starts doing dot damage when he's close to the opponent. So dot damage being? Damage over time. They'll start taking damage just by standing next to him. And, and you can see that it's filling the fear meter. Now, you're not expected to get a full fear meter on just one dose of this poison. You can see I almost did. So the idea is you keep fighting, and then you activate it again, and you get a chunk. Now it's full. Now you can see it's glowing green and it's draining. Whatever does this do, Steve? This does traumatize, which is a full screen ground pound. Ooh. Now, is that is that guaranteed damage or all the follow-ups are guaranteed damage. The actual ground pound is blockable, but mm -hmm. it's very fast. It reaches all across the ground. So the idea is once you build up the spear meter, which will take you a little trouble, you have this ground pound active. Which they are afraid of they the are, entire game. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then they then you sit on it, you make them fear them. You wait for movement, you look for a little twitch, traumatize, and then you get a big combo. That's really cool. You can also use it as combo extender. You don't have to do it from far away. You know, you could if you hit this, just go straight into it and then get a big damaging combo from up close. Wow. Oh, that's dude. awesome. Now, cool. the dot damage isn't the only way to build a sphere meter. His scarecrow gas also builds it. So if you do this move, this one, this one. Sorry. You'll see it's also building it up as it hits. Oh, so anytime the gas hits. Anytime he hits with a gas move, it'll build it up as long as it's active. So the idea here is when you feel like you're comfortable in a good position to get in, you activate it, you start getting close to them. And just by being close to them, they're going to take damage. Like you go for a throw, which wastes a lot of time with it and does a lot of the dat damage. You can start ending your combos in this move to get it up. Then when you get it, you can go back to playing full screen, back to controlling space, and the opponent knows if you throw a battering, if you try to do a back three or dash in, you gotta look out for that ground pound and you're in a lot of trouble. So once it's full, you don't actually have to activate it right away. You can Not, just sit on it. Right, you can sit on it while it's draining. And the opponent sits there and they know they gotta try to wait it out. That was a lot of damage. That was a lot of damage. <laughs> that was a lot yeah, of damage. Really cool. And then uh, his super move. One of my favorites. This, the beginning of the super move is just amazing. He rips a hole in the and at the end, he puts them into the in their own grave. Go, go visit your parents, Batman. Wow, that's nice. Like, did we really have to go there? I think we all know what happened. Sorry. Wow. All right. Well, you know what? It's it's just you know, scarecrow it brings the worst out of me. Yeah, that's right. Right. Yeah. So that's awesome. That's, so that, that's yeah. kind of a, your walkthrough, basically, of how Scarecrow works. That's I the basics of the default loadout Scarecrow. I hope a lot of people really enjoy seeing Scarecrow, but we do have... You put these together, actually. Some loadouts? Some loadouts. Oh, we have some shoot. really awesome loadouts for Scarecrow. Let's take a look at those. Yeah, in my opinion, Scarecrow has some of the top five, I'd say, uh, gear in the game. Very, very cool stuff. 
I'm glad you're numbering things in your head. Yeah, well, I, as you know, I have a rating system in my right. head. For right, me. so here we go. Sort of like, you went for a bone theme A theme-ed bone here. themed, the bones of his victims. Ooh. Ooh. His victim was a horse. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so his accessory there is, uh, is his accessory his, his hook? It yeah. is, and you can now see it has a bone on it, and you'll see another mm. one later that's very, Don't very spoil good. it! All right, so the first uh, ability we're going to show is Soaring Murder, where you notice he has great range, but he didn't really have a standard projectile. Yeah. This replaces his energy wave move with crows. His fear for now? Yeah. Murder. A murder of crows. crows. And the meter number one is even more crows, and it's oh. a knockdown. They also move a little bit slower, so you can kind of follow them. And this gives him a traditional projectile. The regular one's pretty fast. The meter burn one takes up a ton of space and is a mid. So if you're playing a match where you're really struggling with projectiles, even with this projectile absorption, you now have a projectile on your own. Nightmare Eater on Twitch just said, Scare Horse confirmed. Ooh. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's apparently dead. <laughs> What's on his other arm? Is that just a giant bird mount? I think that's a bird mount. Oh, that's wow. Cool. If you guys you recall, in The Dark Knight Returns, Batman actually rides a horse. So my personal headcanon right now is Scarecrow killed the horse and made armor out of it to scare back. That is not Injustice canon. No, that's my one. personal head cannon. Do not think that is Injustice canon. That's me, back. I love your head cannon. Yeah, that's my head cannon. Right. Wow. Cool. Uh, what else do we give him? The second time? ability we gave him actually enhances the Fernado, and it makes it slide across the screen. It will absorb a projectile still, and then it actually becomes a projectile, and it's a low-hitting, very fast projectile that you can use. So this loadout in particular I made to be an anti-zoning loadout. This is the loadout that you would use against like a Superman or a Deadshot or Dr. Fate if you want to go in and use your own projectiles. Or you could use it against the character we just saw, Gorilla Grodd, or any other grappler or brawler like Swamp Thing that has trouble against projectiles. Right, awesome. Now, th I like this one. Mm -hmm. The next one's my favorite. Yes. You don't have to switch both ways. It's okay, it's just where it's a habit. Don't stop him. Yeah, don't stop him, don't stop All him. Right. Wow. Plague. Plague Doctor. So cool. So yeah. uh, I have to say as well that I love Scarecrow's gear. Yes. Mm. He's got some of the coolest stuff. I love the gas mask. Am I allowed to talk about a problem? Oh, well, yeah, so, it's too late. There it's it is. Late. But he's got some of the most unique gear of building that whole nightmare feeling of him. Or fear. Yes. This, this one is, is legit scary. And he's wearing a tie. So this is sort of business it's casual. Also a little, no, it's a little casually. I mean, casual. You know, yeah. he, he is a psychiatrist. Right, right. so he's got He business. is a doctor, yeah. right. He's got business. Well, the stream just went nuts. So okay. That's good. So, we got so in uh, theme with the Plague Doctor outfit, I gave him his move Plague. And this, uh, that's what we've already seen. Yeah. It replaces his Fear Nato again, and it gives him this B attack, which comes up from the ground and then is a combo starter. So this is a great move for use against anyone that likes to hit buttons on the ground. It'll regulate them. You'll get a combo. Look at how look at the range of that. That's good. That's a good move. Now what we've talked about too is that some some of these uh, gear related abilities will take up more than one slot. Right. This one. Does. This is a two slot. This is yep. such a good move to balance it out. It'll take two instead of one. So the 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 kind of meta game here is the plague is a great great move, but if you use this, you can't equip another ability. So if you really like the low sliding furnado, you can't equip these at the same time. So. And that's why we have multiple loadouts. So you can actually make three different loadouts to have. This is the one I use against projectiles. This is the one I use against grapplers. This is the one I use for matchups that are favorable to me. This is the one I use because this move just looks awesome. Right. And that, to me, that's important to me. Yeah. I want to look, look cool awesome. and I want to do cool stuff. Yeah. That's that's fine, right? Yeah. No, no, no. Awesome. No, that's totally valid. Do you want to do uh, his super again? Because it's super fun. I do want to do it again. We can see him up close too. And it's the. <laughs> that's what's cool to me is the super has the gear. Yeah. Like that's that's awesome. Yeah. And probably a challenge for the team. So nice job, everybody. Way to go, ladies and gentlemen. That. That scarecrow. It's part scarecrow. of scarecrow. There's still more. Oh, there's but we're more. not going to show. There's more. We're not showing. That's just oh, a yeah. tease. <laughs> you looked at me all like, "What are you talking about?" Wait, no, that's that's all we talked about. Yeah. <laughs> <that's>, <laughs> Honestly, more. this 